Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode of Animal Talk with Rachel. Today I'm going to be talking about the national animal of Greenland, and that would be the polar bear. Now where is Greenland, you might ask? Greenland is in the northern Atlantic Ocean between Europe and North America. Um, it's actually not green at all. It's icy, kind of like the North Pole. One more interesting fact about Greenland is it's owned by Denmark, but run as its own country. So, let's get into it. So guys, there's Greenland, if you were wondering what that looks like, but let's get into learning about polar bears. Polar bears are fantastic swimmers. They need to be able to swim because that's where they do most of their hunting. Their fur is water resistant, so it helps them to stay warm in the freezing waters of the Arctic. They also have webbed feet. Um, this will help them propel themselves in the water. Their neck is also longer than other bears. So this is helpful for swimming because then they can walk further underwater without having to exert their energy while swimming. So they are classified as marine mammals sometimes. And what does this mean? Classified, arranged or distributed in classes according to specific properties. So basically that means that some people consider them marine mammals because they spend a lot of their time hunting and swimming in the water. They can swim up to six miles per hour. That might not sound very fast considering cars can go over a hundred, but that is really fast. Let's just take into account that humans, even Olympic swimmers, can only swim just over three miles per hour. Polar bears can also hold their breath for two minutes. This also may seem long, but a lot of very good swimmers or people that are in really good health can hold their breath for almost two minutes also. Okay, so a lot of their life is hunting. 50% of their day is spent hunting. The sad part is they only catch about 20% of what they're hunting for. So basically, if they go after 12, or not 12, if they go after 10 animals, they'll only catch two. They also have an amazing sense of smell. This smell helps them to track down their prey and make it easier to hunt. Okay, so they eat seals. What kind of seals? They mainly eat ringed and bearded seals. The reason they eat seals is for their blubber. Now blubber is basically a very thick layer of fat on the outside of a lot of mammals that live in cold temperatures, and it helps to keep them warm. And it's basically just made up of lots of fat. And polar bears need lots of fat to survive in the cold. So that's, yeah, that's what they eat that for. They can eat 100 pounds of fat every day, assuming they can catch it. So here are some more fascinating features about the polar bear's body. Their skin is black. You can kind of tell in this picture on his snout that you can see a little bit of black under their, um, their white fur. So it's helpful when they have black skin because bl the color black, the darker the color, it attracts more heat and sunlight and then that white fur can just trap it in there. They also have fur on the bottom of their paws. This is to help keep their feet warm, kind of like how you wear boots in the winter, and it's also to help them keep a good grip on the ice because that's where they do the majority of their living is on the ice. So the males weigh almost twice as much as the females, and a male polar bear can weigh up to 1,200 pounds. So females, they normally weigh around 600 pounds. Polar bear cubs. So the cubs are born in the late winter, and their mother uh, gives birth to them in a snow den that she dug. And lots of cubs are actually twins. For some reason, polar bears just give birth to twins, or sometimes even triplets a lot of the time. So here's a timeline that I made that kind of shows how, um, in what order of things, the mother will give birth. So in the fall, the mother will dig a den in the snow, and she'll just kind of stay in there, live in hibernation for a few months. And then in late winter, the mother will give birth to her cubs. They won't come out of their snow den until a few months later in spring, so it gets a little warmer and easier to survive out in the extreme temperatures. They are the biggest bears in the world. Uh, sometimes brown bears can get about the same time, but the majority of the time they are larger than all the other bears. One last thing. Polar bears are unfortunately endangered. 
This is due to global warming, and it's heating up the earth, causing the ice to melt, which makes it really hard for them to, uh, to hunt when the ice is melting, because then they can't get out to see where the seals are. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything new, and comment below what country you're interested about. See you next time on Animal Talk with Rachel.